Hey guys, Toby Morrison here. Welcome to today's episode. Today's video is on how to create intimacy uh, even if you can't get out of bed. Uh, one of the biggest problems with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia is that <clears throat> when you're so consumed with your own problems, uh, it is really hard for the other partner uh, in the relationship or loved one to feel a sense of connection. And sometimes that connection can be lost for a long time. Um, and, you know, I think it's only, you know, reasonable and, and understandable that you can start to have doubts within the relationship when that connection is lost. It's only natural. And this video is about, okay, how can I create intimacy in this relationship even though my circumstances aren't great right now? And for any partners out there who are going through a hard time or uh, anyone in a relationship and they're going through these kind of circumstances, you know, my hat goes off to you for the fact that you're still in this and you're still committed and it says a lot about you as a human being and also your love for the other person because it's not easy to watch someone go through something so challenging and so hard um, when one, you can't control uh, anything, uh, you know, as much as you'd love to help them and be able to change how they are, uh, unfortunately that's not, you know, you can't do that and so the fact that you're still here and you still care and you still want to improve and the fact that you're watching this video um, says a lot about, you know, the person that you're in the relationship with and the love that you have for them. So my hat goes off to you. So um, this, these tips are, are useful for uh, both partners, not just one, not just the person who's suffering, but the person who is also, uh, you, know, um, you know, in a relationship with the person who's suffering. So how to create intimacy? There's a couple of things. Now, one of, the, one of the clearest things is communication. I think sometimes that when, when we're feeling like we're not getting the connection or intimacy that we need, we start to uh, stop communicating and we start to kind of create all these stories in our heads about why this person doesn't love me and why they don't do this and why they don't do that. And then the other side of the story is that, uh, you know, you start to feel the same thing, but in a different way. You start to tell yourself different stories and go, oh, that person, she, you know, he doesn't like me or she doesn't like me or they don't care anymore like they used to. And it's a lack of communication that if we could have that open communication, it would clear up a lot of misconstrued, um, you know, stories in our heads. So the first tip is communication. Have open communication. And sometimes you need to communicate in, in words, sometimes uh, in a written form. Sometimes it's easier to write down how you feel uh, in a constructive way that, and you can give it to the other person so they can receive it uh, in a more softer way. That's also a useful tip. If you haven't heard of the five love languages, you can uh, Google that now, but there's five love languages and what that means is we all have different types of um, ways of loving somebody and also receiving love. And, and everyone's different. You can actually take a test online. Uh, I think if you just Google uh, love languages, you'll be able to take that free test. Now, the five love, love languages are this. Physical touch, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, and quality time. Okay? Not in that order. That's just, that's just what I've written here. So you can see that, you know, some people would prefer more physical touch than, uh, let's say, gifts. Some people would prefer more acts of service than physical touch. Some people would prefer much more quality time than receiving words of affirmation. So what we need to do is figure out, okay, what do I like? And also, what does my partner like? And then communicate that to the other person. It's really interesting because when you figure it out, okay, I, when I feel I'm loved, it means that I'm getting, um, you know, uh, lots of, my partner's giving lots of acts of service or um, I know when I'm loved is when I give quality time or when I receive quality time. So you can figure that out. Sometimes some people um, need more physical touch. They need physical touch to know that they are loved and that they are wanted. Um, and it's all understandable. Everyone's got different love languages. Everyone's completely different. And so it's really cool if you can communicate that with your partner and figure out, okay, well, that's his love language, so what's mine? Or that's her love language and what's mine? Does that make sense? So you can check that test out online, but you would even know if you just sat down for a moment and thought about it, what do I, when I get this, it makes me feel great, what is it? Uh, so, so you can write that down and then communicate that with your partner. 
Now, the other thing is when you're going through such a hard time, sometimes it's just about recreating that intimacy. Now, you can do that through the love languages, which I've just explained to you. You can do that through communication. And you can also do it through subtle things where you're just giving something um, to the other partner just because you love them. Uh, rather than trying to expect something back from them, uh, if you show up and you just do something uh, that means a lot to them, you may be surprised at what you might get back. So I've just written down a few things here. And uh, again, uh, everyone's different, so you'll figure out what works for you. But you know, things like giving a little foot rub or giving a little head massage or even just a little gift or writing a letter. Writing letters are really powerful. If you just write an appreciation post, sending an email, you know, if that partner's working away when you're, you're at home, send them an email and just share your love for them in, in whatever way you would like to do that. Um, sending messages, even just a daily message just to remind them that, hey, you know, I'm thinking of you or I love you or, you know, uh, you know what, how has your day been? Sometimes taking the reflection, you know, reflecting it back off you onto the other person is always, always good. So rather than always thinking about yourself, think about the other person. What do they need in this moment? And when you think about that, maybe it opens up some room for connection and some room for intimacy uh, back in your relationship. Uh, again, I'm not, an, I'm not a relationship expert. Uh, I don't claim to be one. Uh, but I also do know that it, it, it can cause a huge um, struggle in a relationship when you're going through such a hard circumstance. You know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard at the best of times, but at the worst of times it can be tough and challenging too. So, like I said before, um, my hat goes off to you if you're, if you're watching this video. I mean, it says a lot about you as a person and also your relationship, the care for it. Um, try and implement a few of these things uh, that I've mentioned today in terms of the uh, five different love languages and open communication. And, uh, and it's an ever evolving thing as the person improves and as you guys grow, uh, you know, uh, more growth and expansion happens. All the best. I hope that really helps. Uh, if you need more help or if you want to even look at joining our online platinum recovery program, which is helping a ton of people uh, get back to the life that they would love to do, whether that's being able to go to the grocery stores without uh, struggling or without payback, whether that's going to the movies or taking your kids to school um, or even being able to work again or, or play with the kids, uh, you know, we, we, we help people do that. Um, and, uh, and it's absolutely possible for you to improve your life and, 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 and get better. So if you need help, just go to the website. There's a link below, cfshealth.com. You can apply for the Platinum Recovery Program, um, which includes absolutely everything you need. Uh, all in one stop shop. Uh, we are helping people in 38 countries. So, um, you know, whatever country you're from, we can help you. Like I said before, hope this video helps. There's tons and tons of free videos on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, uh, check out all the other videos uh, that may be helpful for you on your journey to better health. Take care for now and I'll speak to you soon.